In this video we will take a look at the brand new X5 Ghost added in patch 1.06 of Mass Effect Andromeda today on the 10th of May and see if it's worth using and what augments might be best to get the most out of your new weapon. The X5 Ghost is a fully automatic assault rifle made in the Andromeda Galaxy from the design of the M8 Avenger. Considering how bad the Avenger is, I'm glad they found a way to make it cool. The idea that this is the first of potentially many weapons that will be invented or upgraded the longer we're in the Andromeda Galaxy and around more alien technology is a very cool one. I hope this isn't just a quick addition and is one of many more. Stat-wise, its distribution is different to ones we already have, which is great. The damage is on the high side of low, for me showing 57 at rank 1 and 89 at rank 10. The rate of fire is a very speedy 600, with an unchanging clip size of 90. Max ammunition is decent at rank 10, being 704, and its accuracy is quite good even at rank 1, with it being a very good 114 at rank 10. With the last stat weight, being impressive and very usable at 16 at rank 1 and 8 at rank 10. Keep in mind that these numbers may be slightly different for you depending on your skills and profile chosen. For testing I'll be using a rank 6 version of the weapon. The first thing I notice is that while this is a rare blueprint costing the research points to match, it only has two augment slots by default or three for me with the cryopod perk. This is an oversight that I hope Bioware will hotfix immediately, as this decreases a weapon's damage output by a minimum of 3%. With no big par to obviously go for as far as fixing, we'll try as is first with a double mod extension and two kinetic coils. This with a full set of mods put in should give us a good idea of how it works, and then we can start trying the behaviour augmentations. Note that the mods used are barrel, receiver, magazine and stock. All tests are performed on normal. The vanilla stock version proved to be fairly decent with a good accuracy and a very acceptable clip size, especially with the magazine mod. The impressive part is the reload, it's very quick, noticeably quicker than other guns and about a third of a heatsink. This gives me hope for the electrical conduits and potentially sticky grenades. I tried the beam emitter just in case as we've just had a patch and you never know. It was of course, awful. I then tried the electrical conduits augmentation and that was expectedly good, taking down red bars fast and standard shot and entire shields in a fraction of a second. How this build holds up against a current electrical conduit heavyweight holder for assault rifles is anyone's guess, or my responsibility to test. We'll pit them against each other after we finish with these augments. The grenade augment was kind of fun and did some damage but compared to all other iterations except for the beam, it was awful. The stick grenade I had high hopes for due to the paw going so well with it. But what I found will shark you. It was a bit shit. It appeared to do about the same as the vanilla yet had no headshot or weak point bonus, making it overall a little worse. The stun and AoE is of course great and on most occasions would make it better than the vanilla stacked, but not better than the electrical conduits. I tried the sticky build against some fiends and togs and just wasn't as good as the paw is in that situation either. I gave the plasma a go just for fun as while the plasma makes an automatic gun single shot, the rate of fire is still there, so I was able to fire quicker than my fingers would allow. This still resulted in mediocre damage but was somewhat fun to see. Now time for the face off. The X5 Ghost's best build type was the electrical conduits, dealing super fast damage to shields and quite good damage to red bars. The current belt holder in electrical conduits is the paw, at least as far as ARs go. So I built a paw with electrical conduits, equilibrium regulator, dumb mod extension and two coils being the same as the Ghost build, only with two added coils due to larger augment slots and tested it. The paw came out on top just about in damage, there wasn't a huge difference but the difference was there and noticeable. That being said however, due to the far smaller clip size, I would propose a difference in leader due to circumstance. The paw is better if you have a bio converter to put into it, but the X5 Ghost is better if you do not. The quick reload far surpassing the recharge and potential overheat of a heatsink allows the Ghost to pull ahead where a bio converter is not available to use. The paw still rules the roost where the stick grenade launcher is concerned. A huge thing of note that I saw while testing is that the X5 Ghost does not allow you to deconstruct this weapon, meaning you cannot retrieve your augments when you wish to upgrade. 
This unfortunate fact is true as of the making of this video, which is the patch day. I am hoping that as on this patch day they fixed other weapons with this problem, they will hot fix this issue very soon. So for the moment, hold off on making your X5 Ghosts. Well, thank you for joining for this special patch day weapons testing video. It was fun to have a new gun to mess around with and I hope we'll have more in the future. If you liked this video or it helped you at all, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, maybe think about subscribing. I've got a huge list of Mass Effect Andromeda guide, showcase and field test vids, as well as an ongoing live stream for you to get stuck into, with more coming out every day or two. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day folks.